Baseball may be synonymous with springtime, but there is no freshly cut grass to be found on the turf field at Elliott Ballpark. The cold weather hasn't stopped the UConn baseball team from getting hot, though, as they currently hold a 29-7 record, good for number 15 in the nation. The biggest story entering the year was not the players who were going to be on the field, but the player who was not going to be on it, as MLB draft prospect Reggie Crawford required Tommy John surgery and is out for the entire season. In his absence, though, UConn found some production at first base from Division II transfer Ben Huber, who currently holds a 322 batting average and has posted seven home runs in his first season at the D1 level. UConn's most recent game showed just how productive their offense can be, as they put up 28 runs on the UMass Minutemen, more than double what the football team scored against UMass in October. Despite there being talent all around the diamond, UConn's offense runs through its outfield, consisting of Eric Stock, Casey Dana, and T.C. Simmons. Dana and Stock have eight home runs apiece to lead the team, and combined, their 16 home runs are more than 29 Division I teams. Simmons is no slouch either. As the leadoff hitter, he gets on base 43% of the time and has added five home runs of his own. With Stock hitting 425, good for seventh in the country, only two spots behind him, it's no wonder why this UConn offense is able to score 8.6 runs a game. If you think UConn only wins games because their offense simply outslugs everybody, you're terribly mistaken. Even though UConn has scored the 14th most runs in the country this year, their pitching is arguably even better, as their 3.14 ERA is good for number 5 in the country. The Husky staff has been borderline unhittable. Led by Austin Peterson, who ranks 8th in strikeouts per 9 innings, the Huskies' entire staff ranks number 30 in that statistic. Your season hinges on your weekend performances, and UConn's starting rotation of Peterson, along with Pat Gallagher and Enzo Stefanoni, have been outstanding. In the weekend games where UConn trots out those pitchers, the Huskies are 23-5. When you get to the NCAA tournament, starting pitching comes at a premium, and Coach Jim Penders has three starting arms that he could potentially ride all the way to Omaha. While UConn's old facility prevented them from hosting a regional while in a stronger conference, UConn's new facility will never be able to host due to the weakness of the Big East that they are now in. While the Big East has had outstanding impacts on programs like basketball, it has drastically hurt the baseball team. With only eight teams in the Big East, only two are in the top 100 of the RPI rankings. UConn's schedule is simply not strong enough to be in contention to host, despite their number 15 ranking. With multiple Big East teams struggling to even stay in the top 200 of the RPI, UConn has had weekends where they swept the likes of Seton Hall and St. John's and still managed to fall in the rankings. No matter what the RPI says, UConn is winning games at a clip higher than almost any team in the country, and they pass the eye test no matter what advanced stats you look at. While UConn may not end up hosting a regional, they seem locked in to be a dangerous two seed no matter where they go. And this team is built to potentially make a run to the Super Regionals for the first time since the 2011 season.